Okay, Jimmy, so this seems to be the first bit of kit you guys get out each dig. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, this is the magnetometer uh, and it measures how magnetic the soil is. And the reason why we always start with it is it's a really quick piece of kit to use. So we set our grids out and we don't have to put any probes in the ground or anything like that. We can just walk backwards and forwards, scanning over the surface, recording the values. And it's a real catch-all kind of instrument. So most types of archaeology will show up in some way, shape or form. Um, I mean, basically, wherever you've had human occupation, we make the soil slightly more magnetic by burning, manuring. And what happens is then that the old ditches will fill up with that soil that's more magnetic and the pits that they've been putting their rubbish in will be more magnetic and the hearths and so we look at how all of that spread across the field and we can get an idea of where there are land divisions or perhaps settlement areas. And it's nice and comfortable with the tennis handle grip set. Oh yeah yeah I mean we have to keep uh, replacing those because obviously our sweaty palms just wear it all flat but uh, yeah it's um I don't know have a try. Sure. See so it's not too bad. Um, the worst thing is probably windy weather because it really does push against you. Okay. It's like trying to push a rugby post through a treacle. But nice. uh, yeah. A day like this though, not such a bad task. Uh, it's a walk in the countryside. Sunshine, yeah. lovely views. What more could I ask for? All right, we'd better <laughs> let you get back to your stroll in the park then. Thank you very much. A um, couple more grids and a cup of tea would be lovely. Thank okay, you. Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs>